all right i'm gonna do um it's just a pasta something i just made up it's nothing fabulous or fantastic when i get my tripod set up um maybe you can see me i got i'll have all the measurements in the bottom got all my seasonings in here i got a container of fire roasted sweet peppers and tomatoes and it's got basil and onion and garlic in it it's a 15 ounce can to be in the bottle don't worry about it i've got some shredded cheese which is a triple blend and i've got um parmesan in here i've got a pound and a half of brown hamburger meat i already browned that for you so this can go kind of fast because i've been having a lot of trouble with my leg i got my pasta over here on the stove and it is done. I'm going to set it off because I'm going to keep my liquid in it because when I put the lid on this, um, it will be, it will, it will absorb all the flavors. So my pasta is a mix match of, I think there's some shells and some elbows and just some little pieces of bags of pasta that I needed to use up. And I was just showing you how that, um, let me get it and show you. And I'm going to leave, there's about a, a cup of liquid in there and I'm going to leave it. I'm going to see these over here. Okay, let's go ahead and put our peppers and tomatoes in there. Okay. Kind of wish I'd have put two in there now. Huh. Let me, let me, hold on, let me go get another can of those. I like those. I think I'm going to add two. coming back I had to go and get it and they're just I get them off Amazon they're just some diced um, peppers with I mean diced tomatoes with sweet sweet peppers and onions in them all right I'll make sure I put that in there okay I'll go ahead and add our seasonings and I'll have all this in the bottom for you And this is a no-bake because I cooked everything separate. So it's a no-bake thing. All it needs to do is sit on the counter, cover it up for a while, and absorb everything. See how that looked? Okay, and I want to leave my water because it's only a, about a cup of water in there. Let's see if I can get all that pasta out. Sorry for scraping. And see, there was even some kind of little flat pasta in there too that I had. I just grabbed it out of the pantry. See how much water is left in there? It's going to absorb all of that. And you just cook the pasta until you see it sort of al dente because when you cover it up it's going to all change. Cover it up and leave it. You don't want to eat this right away. It's something that you really want to set. Okay. Now I got my triple cheese here. We'll put a bunch of it in there. And I'm just going to make some garlic toast with this tonight. And we'll put a, let's say a cup of cheese in there. I fell down the stairs a few weeks ago and I'm still in, in a lot of pain. So I'm trying to get through with everything as fast as I can, but I did want to do some videos. And you just want to slowly turn this around until everything mixes. Then we want to give it a taste test. Now the pasta could quite possibly still be al dente because I'm going to cover it up with the lid in just a few minutes. But you want to make sure it's got enough garlic and salt and pepper um, and basil. I put a lot of basil in here. But it smells really good. Okay. All right, let me get a spoon. For some reason or another, it bothers people on YouTube that I taste with a spoon I stir with. No one here but me and my husband, so. Very good. Very, very good. Okay, I'm going to upload this and clean up my mess. 
and I have all the ingredients in the bottom. I hope you'll try it and give me a like, share, and subscribe. And you cover it up like that. Just let it sit on the counter for a few minutes. Then if you want to heat it up, just you put it in a pan, put it in the oven, or you can heat it up in portions in the microwave, but it still should stay hot for 30 minutes. All right, y'all. Hope this helps. Bye.